What's up y'all, welcome to the channel. In this video, I wanted to go over how we can listen to changes in our database. More specifically, how we can listen to changes in our Firestore database when there's changes made to our collection here of messages. This app is from a full course that I dropped recently on my YouTube channel, so you guys check out that video if you haven't already. But what we have in this app is we have a whole bunch of messages that are sent by people, different people. And currently, our app isn't updated. So on my personal device, I have a different account set up, which is this one. And if I send a message right now, it won't display. So we're gonna go over how we can listen to changes in our database collection from Firestore. All right, so let's do that. And we wanna create a function, listen to changes. All right, so this will listen to changes. We'll be more descriptive. Listen to changes in database. We could say message database. And let's bring in combine. We're gonna need that. Because not only do we want to listen to changes, but we need a way to pass those changes to our view controller. And we're going to use combine to handle that. So we're going to create a publisher. Var, we'll call this um, updated messages publisher. And we can just set this equal to pass through. Wow. Pass through subject. And we need to do the less than equal to. I forgot the name. <laughs> and then we want to, we need two things. First, what we want to pass through the publisher and then error if there is one. So what we're gonna pass is a new array of messages. And a message is just a an object we have here that we're getting from our database. You could pass an array of strings or whatever, right? Like if, it's, if it was just only the text part, you could just pass an array of strings, but in our application, we're using messages or the message object. So we're gonna pass that and then you just pass error. Then we wanna make sure you do the parentheses. All right, so that's good. We can add a listener, a snapshot listener, this one. And in here, we'll have a query snapshot. And in here, we'll have an error. We can guard that documents equal query snapshot dot documents. Okay. And we want to make sure error equals equals nil, else we'll return. All right, so this will listen to changes in our database. And now what do we want to do? is we're going to copy what we did up here where we're converting our response our documents into our message type and you could use encoding but we didn't use it we haven't used that in our application because there was an issue with the timestamp in our message model we're using date and in here there's a timestamp and converting that can be tricky so we paste that in here this is the documents Right, now we have access to this message and this is going to be an updated message. So we just call our publisher, which will be message or updated messages. Publisher send and you want to send the messages. And now that's being sent off. It looks like we're using self. We need to use a weak self in here because we're calling our publisher weak self. So let's create a strong self for self. I forgot to let. Now we can call this here. All right, now we should be able to listen to changes. We have to, we have to call this function. So let's call it in here in our fetch all messages function. What should we call this? Let's just call it right here. Okay, now we go to our chat room view controller, which is our main view controller for this project. And let's import combine. And one thing we need to create is um, we need to create a tokens. This is a type of set, any cancelable. You want to do that. That's it for now. And now we just want to, uh, we can create a function called listen to, or we'll say subscribe, subscribe to message publisher. And there's a typo in there. Copy that. And then I'm going to create a function right below my fetch messages function, private func. Now we're going to call a database manager. It's a singleton. So we can use our shared and then updated message publisher and let's hit dot again and then we want to say receive use this one you want to receive on dispatch q dot main this is on the main thread since this will update our ui it's really important to receive this on the main thread so this is a completion this is we could just leave this part blank and messages we'll say self dot messages equal messages and then we want to say self dot table view dot reload data and one thing i haven't we haven't done either is we need to call store in and then you, this is why we brought in the tokens i forgot about that part <laughs> now we run the application all right it loads up 
And now I have a message with a whole bunch of numbers. Just send it. Oh, there it goes. And it's and it's set here because in our application we haven't set it to order it by the recent message. And we'll do that right now actually. And we'll limit this. We'll add some changes. So what you can add to your collection is you can add order by. And in our project we have a created at, which is a timestamp. And we'll say false. And something cool that you can do is add a limit as well. And this reduce, uh, limits the amount of cells you'll see. So we'll do 10. And I'm just going to copy and paste this into the app. Into right here. Change. Leave it at 25 for now. I'm going to run that. Hmm. Oh, I see what it's doing. So this, the way we did it is we ordered it in descending order. But it's grabbing the, the top 25. So let's reverse the order. True. And I think in our application, this is going to make the most recent ones pop up at the top. But there's a way we can fix that. All right, now I'm going to send a message from my device. Boom, it pops up at the top. And I can't spell. <laughs> it's a typo. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm riding between it all in this perfect place. Peace to the buzz, woman, fit where you need me, baby.